Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, welcome along. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications if you are new here because, you know, this is fun. Today, as the title might suggest, we are doing a Shein haul. Now, due to COVID-19 lockdown and all the restrictions, this took forever to get here. This, I think, is my first Shein haul of the year which is crazy considering it's like june but rather than talk about it let's just i did open the box because i didn't know actually what it was <laughs> we've got an invoice so that's grand i've got no prices for you I'm gonna have to guess them or check my phone or something but yeah that's it's all in different languages yeah, it's all in completely different languages like no clue it kind of yeah it didn't even come from china it came from the netherlands but let's just jump on into this, get out of this dowdy old dressing gown and see what we have to wear today. Okay, so first up, out of this potluck, we have a dress. And I don't know if there is the English language on this anywhere. So I can't even tell you what it's called. Now, we're gonna have to resort to the phone. Okay, what I will say is I struggled, struggled to get into this dress. Only to find out once I had it on that there was actually a zip right there. I mean, it's a cute little dress. It's long enough. Let's just see. I have to find the Shein app and tell you all about it now. But it's easier than linking everything down below. Because, you know, I just don't have that kind of time on my hands. This is, okay, this is the plus fold over asymmetrical neck flare dress i got this in a size 2xl okay the waist size is supposed to be 97 hip size 146 she looks very different to me and the color is very different because it's not as blue on my app as it is she kind of wears it like that and kind of makes it look fancy and i wear it like this and make it look frumpy but you know i mean you could get away with it i guess why would she pay for this seven euro and it's light enough that it can be summer and you probably wouldn't get the sweat lines you know you know but let's move on okay i know it may not look like it's some far so far but this is actually my attempt at a summer haul however you know i just got carried away with the bigness the overall awesomeness of this i feel like this could actually be used as kind of like a coverall at the beach just throwing that out there. This is plus drop shoulder hood. No, drop, plus drop shoulder high low hem varsity camo hoodie. This cost me 11 euro. Um, I got it in a 4XL because I wanted it huge, essentially. I just, I just want big stuff on me for the rest of my life. I love it. I think you could wear it just, just kind of like a dress in this big size. What do you reckon? Could I get away with saying this was a dress? I'm not sure. I mean, even just a pair of like little cycling shorts or something underneath it. I think you've got yourself a half decent little outfit for 11 euro. What are we thinking? I reckon I'm rocking this look, but you know, I'd be interested in your opinion. I know I don't look like a grown up. But there we have it, 11 euro. Next. I know what you're thinking. Where is she going? I know, but I feel like I bought this because it was in the sale. Yeah, it was in a sale and I was fascinated. This is plush, plus, this is plus gigot sleeve glitter band wrap dress. This cost eight euro and I got it in a size three XL. Now, as it's sheen, the material is extremely light, but I feel like it's summer, so that's okay. I know it's more of a wintry type dress, but for eight euro, I mean, if everything does open up and life gets back to normal, I'm not overly sure about the giggle, 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 whatever sleeves, but I am sure that it's a nice dress for eight euro. I don't care. I know it's summer and I'm dressed for New Year's Eve. Bothered. No. There is though, I swear to God, there is swimmer to come. Don't you worry about it. Next. Okay. So this is the plus mock neck floral printed fit 
floral, floral print fitted dress. I got this in a size 3XL and I paid 7 euro for it. Can I just ask, can I just put it out there to all, we're all friends here now. Am I the only one who actually feels slightly more comfortable in the cheaper clothes from places like Shein and Romwe? Not Zaffle anymore, they pricey now. But places like that, I mean, 7 euro, is it just because they're cheap? Or are they actually getting the sizes a little bit better? Because I, I would happily go places dressed like this, knowing I only paid 7 euro for my dress and believing fully I was winning at life. I love this. 7 euro, what do you think? Am I, am I winning at life? Am I the only one who favours the likes of Shein to all those other big brands, which I constantly try and get disheartened by? Let me know down below. Next. Okay, now we can all laugh together. The outfit I am currently donning, I mean the top, grand. The outfit I am currently donning, the top here is a plus color block cami knit. I paid 12 euro for this and I was going for kind of like a beachy style. The trousers, however, plus elastic waist, leather look, leggings. I got the leggings in a 2XL and the top in a 3XL. The leggings cost 10 euro. Listen, I think I'll take the eight euro loss and say no more about this. What do you reckon? The top is really cute for 12 euro. I really like it. It's knitted, but it's really, really light wool. It's so cute. And I know I'm wearing black bags on my legs right now, but I feel like with a pair of white shorts, denim shorts, this would be cute, right? Anyway, the trousers, when I was putting them on, it was like putting black bags on my legs. I shaved my legs yesterday and still, it's hitting. Every single hair follicle is making noise. I really just need to take the loss on this. I really, really do. Top's lovely though. Next. Okay, so I feel like I may have gotten the outfits a little bit upside down, backwards and confused because I feel like this top may have gone better with the black bag pants. Anyway, this top, is the plus floral print cami top. I paid five euro for this and I got in a 3XL. The shorts are the plus frill, plus frill waist Glen plaid belted shorts. I got them in 2XL and I paid eight euro for them. Now, as outfits go, it's not the greatest. I love shorts like this. Like, I just feel like, you kind of feel like you're dressed up a little bit. You could get away wearing a bikini top with it. Really, really like the shorts. No pockets, but you know, for such cheap prices, I don't really mind that there are no pockets. Do you get me? The top, I feel like will probably go better with like jeans as kind of, jeans and a, a nice top night. You know when you go in the jeans and a nice top night with the girls when the pubs are all open back and we're in beer gardens and we're supping away and some nice pints or cider. Anyway, I feel like this top would go really nice with the jeans and a white, jeans and a nice top look. What are we thinking? I mean, how much was this outfit? I think 14 euro for the whole outfit. Doesn't match, I know that. Shorts are lovely and light. But yeah, I think I'm winning at life. I really do. On to the swimwear, folks. Yay. We're nearly done, I promise. One thing I will say is you definitely need help getting into the swimsuit. Right, this top I got is kind of like an overstuffed top. And it is. Plus slogan graphic t-shirt, I got in a size 2XL and I paid five euro for it. The, the swimsuit is plus raunched crisscross one piece swimwear. I paid 14 euro for it and I got in a 1XL. So the t-shirt, you could throw that on over anything going to the beach really, couldn't you? However, the swimsuit, oh, I don't know if it's just me, but I really like this. It's raunched but it keeps you like in. It's a little bit cheeky, but not too bad at all. I know there's like fat rolls at the back, but that's because, you know, I got a little bit of fat going on. I'm okay with that. There are cups in it, which are really, really irritating, but they are very, very easy to remove. And it doesn't change the look that much, apart from the fact that that was lumpy. But yeah, this is the swimsuit number one. And I like it. What do you guys think? Next. Okay, so the minute I saw this, the minute I saw this on my body, I thought, nope. 
now that it's completely on me i'm still thinking nope this is the plus palm print frill trim one piece swimsuit a i thought it came with a belt which it doesn't and b i paid eight euro for it and i got it in a 2xl the 2xls are definitely bigger that i don't feel as supported as in the other one but just in general i don't think there's anything you could do to this bad boy I think no matter what I thought, like give it a chance, see what the crack is. Now I know what the crack is and the crack is now get it off me. On to the last item. Okay, here's a new thing for everybody. I'm wearing a piece of swimwear from Shein that I actually do not feel in any way comfortable in. This is the plus size crisscross pemplum one piece. I paid 14 euro over this and I got in a zero XL. So it was a little bit smaller, but like, really, I don't think personally it fits my body very well. I just feel like I did in that boohoo swimming costume from last year. It just, it, it's just not long enough for my body. Apart from that, it's like all she and stuff really, it's decent quality. It's what, it's what you want to need for it from a swimsuit really. I just feel this one, oh, I just feel this one. It's just not correct. The last item, I probably won't save this either, I got is this. Because, you know, what better way to spend your summers than in swimsuits with a bit of lace on. I mean, also, because it's, it's just flattened out. I mean, my nipples are here. The cups are there. Nothing is working right with this. But this, however, is awesome and i probably paid far too much money for it considering it's only a bit of lace but i really needed this little lace in my life this is plus drawstring waist drawstring waist which oh no it is actually a drawstring waist kimono i paid five euro for it and i got my 2xl and it is actually a drawstring i just wouldn't like play with it too much if you get me because like the drawstring is made of lace too. I've lost my words. But like for six euro, this is gonna make any little swimsuit or bikini number look great. Pair of shorts, bam, thank you ma'am. I'm ready for a night out. I love this. What do you think? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking definitely keep her. Anyway, that's it for today. That's the end of my video. I did order two bikinis, which were both sold out. Which is probably a good thing because as this lockdown has continued, so has everybody's waistline. So the next order will be bikinis, it'll be bikini madness because I'll have a treadmill and exercise bike by then. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. I hope you found it in some way informative or a little bit of fun or just want a mesh kimono. I've got no boobs in this, like me. Thank you all so, so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and the notification button. And yeah, come and have more fun with us. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Wait, wait. I actually forgot to show you my pyjamas because they were under a mess of stuff on the bed. I honestly don't have, I don't have a bed at the moment. These are the, these are the plus polka dot lace trim bandu lingerie set. I got these in a 3XL and I paid six euro for them. I mean, they are what they are really. I don't know if I'd sleep in them myself, but they're roomy for a 3XL. They're cheap, they're cheerful, they're cute. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.